And they'll take their swings off the 27 year old right hander Tyler Wells making his 17th start of the year. You see the ERA is outstanding. He has won five in a row, 50 punch outs, only 17 walks. He's keeping the ball in the ballpark pretty good, too. Nine home runs. There's Tyler Wells, 24 51. What does that mean? The average big league fastball four seamer spins about 2250. That one about 200 RPMs better, which means it just kind of stays on plane a little bit longer than most fastballs. But VR won't get on base for him. Wells with a tight 3 2 slider for an opening strikeout. Well, that's Tyler Wells at his best early in the game right there. I mean, he's been able to do this all year long. This stuff is really good, but when he can do this and throw something other than a fastball, this could be something that Mike Trout would benefit from the fact that Wells works up in the zone. We'll share some of those memories with you as we continue. Trout hammers that one into left field. That's going to drop down for a base. Shohei Otani was hitless yesterday, 0 for 3 with a walk in the opener. 0 and 2 the count to Otani. Taps a change up to the right side, and the Orioles have only one play there. So with two gone, Otani's aborted first. So he has played at an all star level for Los Angeles. Otani on the move. High pitch. Chirinos with a good one to throw on, and the tag is there. Urias was starting off the field well before Nick Lentz made the call and Otani caught stealing for the sixth time in 16 tries. I don't think Otani's buying it. Foot's in front of the bag. Urias' foot is in front of the bag, kind of blocking. Does Otani get to the back side of it before the tag is applied? That's the question. Well, the Angels are not going to challenge. So we may never know the answer to that question. And it's Reed Detmers on the mound celebrating his 23rd birthday today. And looking to even up his record at three and three in Tacoma with the Salt Lake Club struck out 14 and is back and ready to go and he's got his first out tonight. Boy, Yard needed all that arm strength to be able to get Mullins going down the line. That was extremely close. Good breaking ball towards the end of the bat. How close that was. That stride away from the bag. Threw a little slider over there too. Yeah. The next 2 2 pitch home. Yeah, they're on the heater, Reed. First strike out of the game for Detmers. Goes upstairs, a swing and miss, two fastballs by him in that sequence. Reed Detmers, a little bit of what we saw with Chase Silsep, really works fast. How about two strikeouts for Reed Detmers in a scoreless start to the night? To the second, Angels and Orioles, no score. I'd like to welcome uh, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters here today, <laughs> also rocking the bucket cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there goes my hero. Yeah. Taylor at the plate when Shohei was caught stealing to end the first. Find a hole, get through. It does. Baltimore gets burned by the shift. And they don't do it too often, and Wells doesn't get many ground balls. Runners in scoring position in those 12 games, they're hitting 143. And Hefo pops it up. Mateo and Nevin there. Mateo will put it away. And Wells escapes another jam. Ward stranded at third and a scoreless second. Nevin was in six games for Baltimore last season and in that limited action hit 286. Here's the next pitch and he swings and misses that one and that was a good slider struck him out. And now that's out number two and strikeout number three for Detmers. Santander at first after the leadoff walk to pitch home is a called strike three. Four punch outs for Detmers as he strands another. On to the third. No score in Baltimore. Last five starts, 5-0 five oh in his last five starts with a 1.93 ERA. And Stassi takes a third straight miss. It's ball four. Well, we just had to talk about he never walks anybody. So Wells has fallen behind three balls and a strike. And VR punches it through the left side. Stassi to the next station, and here come the Halos with runners at first and second and only one gone. Mike Trout, the next batter. Everybody else has been attacking him with the fastball. Mike sends it high and deep into the left field corner. If it stays fair, that one's got a chance to get out of here. It's a fair, fair ball. ball home run. He got it. He found the only manageably, reasonably short porch in left and hit a three-run home run. Well, he likes his date. He likes his ballpark. That's a long way out. And as the late great Earl Weaver would say, that's the best play in baseball. A three-run home run. Successful in the past with a slider. Usage of 39% strike percentage. Amazing at 78%. Ever since the uh, second inning when he walked the leadoff batter, he has not allowed a base runner since. What a play by VR. 
And they get him. Nice pick over there by Walsh. What a play by VR. It's all about the glove. Gets a look at the baseball, knows he's got that strong throw. Yeah, Look. count the stitches. He, he Manny, went Manny Trio. Manny Trio style, <laughs> right. The birthday boy, Reed Detmer, so far tonight. Been outstanding, 23 years old. Today, 74 pitches, five innings. It's been awesome tonight. It goes back to work on the top of the order. Mullins, Mancini, and Mountcastle. Ooh. Cheese upstairs. And he gets Mullins on strikes for the second time tonight. Fastball to strike him out, but the slider has been his favorite weapon tonight. The next 3 2. And a swing and a miss by Mancini. That was, I think, his best slider of the night. And a that, season best, career best, seventh strikeout for Reed Depp. That had some serious depth to it. Look where it starts and look where it ends. Leads have been in good hands when Jose Quijada enters. He's also been very good this year. And Hayes will take him out to left center field. Austin to first, a leadoff single. Ready for a 3-1 with Hayes at first. And Anthony takes ball four. The Orioles will bring the tying run to the plate with not an out to be found. Ramon Urias. To the left side, base hit. Hayes to third base, gets the green light. Marsh's throw, not close. And Santander boogies down to third. First three have reached in the seventh against Quijada. Urias puts the Orioles on the board. Two balls and two strikes, and Nevin swings and misses. A big strikeout for Quijada, and that's the first out of the inning. Two strikes to count. Got him. Firm 95, Quijada talking to himself out there. Big back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jose Quijada. Again, it'll be up to Adley Rutschman now. This is the biggest, noisiest crowd Adley Rutschman has seen since his call-up to the big leagues at Camden Yards. Like On he the went. appeal, they struck him out. Got him the fish. Quijada wriggled out of a huge jam and keeps the lead. So Cedric makes it in the third, and now the Orioles a possible second run 90 feet away. And you bring up Ryan Mountcastle, who, like Cedric Mullins, has quite a few extra base hits over the last month. And a fastball here in the center field. He slammed it through, and Mullins scores. Run scoring base hit for Ryan Mountcastle. It is a one-run ball game. Three pitches, two outs, and the next batter will be Shohei Otani. Shohei swings and sends a high drive out to center field. Mullins on the run. Get out of here! It's gone! No tricked up outfield dimensions going to keep that one in the ballpark. Shohei Segoy, center field home run, number 19. Says no, in this ballpark, no. Give me that cowboy hat. So the Orioles down to their final out in the bottom of the ninth inning. And now you're going to give Rutschman a chance. What does this Friday night have in store for Adler Rutschman? Drilled right field deep. Ward on the run. He will not get there. This game is alive. Rutschman into second base. A two strike, two out double. It is four to three. And the winning run will come to the plate. Oh, it is hard to get the 27th out against the Baltimore Orioles. In the center field, he did it again. Rutschman around third. Mike Trout's throw. Not going to make it. They have tied the game. Down to two strikes and two outs on three consecutive batters. You having fun yet? I'm having fun. I've been having fun for a while now. 27th out is hard to get, and if Trey can do something here, they might not get it. In the left field, Marsh will not get there. They've done it again. Three walk-off wins in five days. A bottom of the ninth stunner, and Mancini is your hero.